all right boys we had to do it we are showcasing the new blue awakened mono uh i think she names like shadow of iron blood or something like that but just look at her looking amazing oh my god we had to summon for her even though our band is skip we had to do it for the for the boys out there for the culture all right oh my god like she got that yet you feel me lotion is prepared Yo, this was a lot of memes about her too, saying like she looks like uh, Raiden from Genshin Impact. I can see it, I can see it. But if you don't know what her passive is, she is a buffer for catastrophes. Basically, for every catastrophe ally on the battlefield in PP, increase base stats of seven catastrophes allies by 6%. At the start of the battle, increase the hero's damage dealt by the hero's crit chance. Pretty interesting passive, if you do say so myself. And what is her crit chance? She has 120% crit chance, whoa. Wow, so there's a 120% damage dealt increase. That's crazy. Um, she has a cleanse card that can also boost crit damage as well. Well, the first one removes debuffs. And then the other one gives like 30% crit chance and 50% crit damage. And then the gold, 50% crit chance and 80% crit damage for three turns. And she has an AoE weak point, which is going to be pretty nice. Um, first of all, let's showcase her skills real quick. Because I feel like with the stash trees, you're probably never going to see her skills ever. So we just want to see how it looks, especially with the gold card. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, that animation look little heat. You feel me? Let's see the buff card. Let's see the buff card. How the buff card looks. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, that's fire. That's fire. How does silver look? Okay. 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 Nah, nah, nah. That's fire. That's fire. Now she has the regular mono awaken ultimate, so it's a basically a lost vein ultimate. Uh, we only did like one six for her just because. But yeah, we're gonna be using her on a special team featuring um this team. Like I don't know what it is, but I felt like she'd be pretty cool with a kill setup. Again, she will be really good with other catastrophe boosting her base stats. But I felt like this team would be a little bit solid. Um, you know, you get six percent for her and six percent for um Lilia, which is twelve percent, and then you also get twenty four percent. Um, from freaking Zeldris. So it could make Lilia pretty strong and tanky at the same time. Again, she I feel like she's going to be a support character. Again, the catastrophes right now, honestly, they're not the best in terms of playing with MPP. Just because their stats are a little bit uh, bad. Like the stats of the catastrophes are really, really low. So hopefully they come back with some new awakened characters that have really, really good stats or at least buff up the older catastrophe characters but only time can tell let me know down below in the comments what do you think will be the next awakened catastrophe and um let's see what we can do with this mono all right what do we have here a demon team okay this might be a little bit solid all right okay this is a real person as well maybe i should test out let's see lilia's stats real quick too like i wish the catastrophe had like a kyo character Ooh, her stats looking beefy. Oh man, her stats are looking mad beefy. So let's do this something like this. This and let's nuke Meliodas right here. Meliodas is the biggest threat. Ooh, okay, she did some solid damage. I can't even gap. She did some solid damage. And Lilia, she just hits like a truck. Like, it's over. Bow. 145. Something light, you feel me? Now, the, the unfortunate thing is that she only cleanses on her bronze card, which makes it pretty much useless for um, her. Like, if it was, like, a cleanse buff, like, what you see in, like, Margaret, it'd be a lot better. But, um, beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> okay, he's going after Lilia, who is, like, the tankiest character on my team. So, these, these are some big brain plays right here. I mean, I could push for my ultimate on this guy. But, I mean, I think doing more damage on them would be a lot better of a play. So, let's do this, this, and then this as well. Because if we get rid of his card slots, this would be great for us. Cool. I mean, she's doing, she put in some work. I can't even cap. Holy. Yo, Zelda's getting absolutely destroyed. Holy. Nah, Zelda's getting absolutely destroyed. Now, the second thing is, like, he's about to encroach Lilia crazy. Hmm. I'm kinda not liking this though. <laughs> My whole hand's filled with Kyo cards. 
Nah, this is actually crazy though. My whole hand is filled with Kyo cards though. Okay, he forfeits. GG, man. I'm about to say, my whole hand is filled with Kyo cards, man. Again, I wish they had a catastrophe who works like Kyo. Because Kyo cards are just so bad for me. All right. Ooh, a Reinhardt. Okay, okay. We can put in some work with this one. We can put in some work with this one. All right, we're going to put in some work. And... Yo, do I want to go crazy with this? Because he probably has, like, what, real time yo link? Oh, he doesn't even have real time yo link. Okay, we own this. Oh, maybe... maybe Ooh, you know what? Let's start with this. And then we can use a buff card. Low key. Let's see how our buff card looks, though. With the one mono, mono and stuff. Because she does boost our crit chance and crit damage by 50%. I said 50%. Crit chance by 30% and crit damage by 50% for two turns. That one buff card. So this might be some crazy damage, man. Oh, he has dodge on Reinhardt. That's gonna suck. All right, Twiggle doing no damage. Definitely a good sign. Our stats are just too strong, boys. Our stats are just too strong. What can I say? All right, let's see this, though. Uh, yo, let's, let's see it with a silver card. Let's have some fun with this. That animation is super long, though. I can't lie. That animation is super long. Okay, that was some good damage. I wish Reinhardt didn't have that dodge, though. I wish Reinhardt didn't have that dodge. So we are buffed up crazy right now. Rio is definitely going to be gone, though. Especially because Lilia now got boosted crit chance to crit damage. And she she's my hardest hitter, to be fair. Ooh, okay. Keo's still alive. Okay, good, good, good. good sign. Um, let's see her stats, though. Yo, Lilia has like 33k attack. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy, though. All right, let's see who we can go for then. I'm she gonna, let's see. She's going to crit, right? Oh, uh, yeah, she's critting. I mean, Mono, I know, definitely doing some damage. Ooh, y'all see that? And then Lilia finishes off, right? Crit. Ah, we didn't even need it. I ain't gonna lie, this team is looking a little solid. I can't even cap. I guess the only problem is that you have to go first with it, right? <laughs> that's, the, that's the real problem with this team. You have to go first. Oh, yeah, please get rid of Kyo. Holy snap. Kyo had like 30 cards. And that's also the other problem with this team, Keo. That man, Keo, just love getting cards. It's atrocious. That man, Keo, loves getting cards. All right. Yo, this kind of sucks for me because Mono basically <laughs> needs cards to do damage for ultimate, but I couldn't do anything else with those cards. Rift Armiel. Oh, this going to suck. I should have boosted my, my buffs. Then. Oh, never mind, Keo. Let's go. Rift time you on freaking Eskner is crazy though. All right, we just gonna get the win animation real quick. Oh my god, that damage though. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, still the same problem. All right, we just gonna get the win animation. Still the same problem like all the other teams is that Eskner when he's in the sub just starts hitting like a truck. GG though, at least we get the win animation for her. Oh yeah, beautiful. Like the catastrophe character CC just sucks, man. Like they say CC is just terrible. Um, but at least we get to showcase a little bit of this of this team. Cause the team ain't bad, you know. The team ain't bad. Yo, Lilia. Okay, let's see what Lilia can do right here. Oh, I'm not liking this. No crits on anybody, though. That's kind of weird. Crit. Um, definitely a skip character. What can we say, guys? Definitely a skip character. And she's doing this without her relic, too. Uh, which is actually... Which is crazy to me. Like, she's doing this without her relic. I just wish she had a buff card on her bronze, though. Bro, like Margaret, dude. This is just... What is removing debuffs gonna do for me? Okay, like legit. It, it, can someone explain what is removing debuffs gonna do for me at this moment? 
But you have a character like Margaret who literally get boosted. Crazy. Is this okay, I thought it had real time yelling for a second. Then I forgot he was using DN. Bond just annoying to deal with as usual. Um and when you get spammed heal cards, it's kinda hard to do anything really. That's why I said her bronze card is so trash, dude. Her bronze card is really bad. That's why no one uses cleanse characters. Because you don't usually need it. Like, if you're not going to do anything crazy with your bronze card, but cleanse, like, who needs you? GG, though. And they didn't even crit or anything. What the heck? Okay. GG. All right, we got a Sins team, basically. Oh my God. Okay, this is a real person. I thought it was a bot for a second. I'm like, say no, I went a real person. All right, we need to get rid of Meliodas. Hopefully he doesn't have Red Tarmio Link. All right, he doesn't. So we're gonna do this, this, and this. Again, I think the whole problem with Mono is that like literally her buff card does nothing for you. <laughs> I think that's the only big issue with Mono right now is that her buff card does absolutely nothing for you. Other than that, her cards, she's doing some decent damage, man. Maybe she's just probably like a, a good Guild Wars character for the most part. Unless Catastrophe gets some another good character. I feel like if they have like a character like Keo, they might be pretty solid. Because this man Keo is getting like a billion cards. If they have a character like, like this guy, I don't know. They might be going places. Maybe I should have put Rift Army on with Kyo. Because they do go for Kyo a lot. Even though I am running Green Star Yell Link to uh, make up for it. But they don't need to know that. Like, like this card just, like, it just feels like my cards are useless using Kyo, man. Like. It's, it's kind of upsetting. Like, it upsets me every time I, I look at my Kyo cards. Like, yo, I'm going to do no damage with this guy. Uh, maybe I should AoE twice. Oh, my God. What the heck? <laughs> he just blasted me. <laughs> Never mind. Kyo cards do stuff. Never mind. I changed my mind. Kyo cards does do something. Now, let me stop playing. He did, he did have mad debuffs on him, though. I ain't going to lie. He did have mad debuffs. He's gonna take. I about to say he's gonna try to take away with my gauge. My base stat should be super high right now. Yeah, my base stats are looking like. I ain't gonna lie, they looking a little, little scrumptious right now. All right, let's get rid of you. But let's be honest, man. His best character is Liz at this moment. So if I just ult her, it's over. Yep, GG, man. Got him. Oh, really, Mono? GG, though. Still, Kyo got the win animation. Dang, Mono, I thought you were going to clutch up for us. That's all right. All right, we got a goddess team. I said goddess team. Goddess Liz. And this is a real person. <sighs> He's going to be annoying, isn't he? Yep. He's trying to protect his, um, he's trying to protect his boy, Meliodas, right now. So we're going to force revive on him real quick. Oh, he's not dodge food? What the heck? Okay, weird flex, but okay. Not dodge food is crazy. Did y'all not see his CC? It was 288. Like, am I tripping not? Okay, he forfeits. Well, um, that's going to be the end of the video, man, honestly. I think we showed case mono enough again i feel like the problem with mono is that she's on an outdated character uh team because catastrophe stats are atrocious which means they're gonna be low cc and for the most part she has a aoe weak point without a debuff character alongside of her and i feel like if she had like a tasty character like keo here alongside and they had like at least better stats i think the catastrophe could be a solid team like what ragnarok was before they got um pretty much nerfed with demon estros that came coming out but again i hope you guys enjoy this really guys and i'm out peace